So now let's move on to a race next week, which Alex, you'll be attending. Uh, yep. The TFH Formula RX-8 series, uh, round three. We're finally at round three, midway, I think. I think, is it six or eight rounds? I can't no, remember. Fair few. Um, but either way, Queensland Raceway, sunny Gold Coast, as they say, or sunny Queensland or wherever. Yeah, it's, it's which. Uh, yeah, it's um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but... Uh, it's going to be an epic weekend. Uh, of course, if you watched any of the Morgan Park action or you heard our show a couple of weeks ago when Ivan, um, who of course raced there with Slipstream Autosports, uh, he got a cheeky podium. Uh, unfortunately, he's not here tonight because he's getting set um, for the weekend coming up, um, which of course is a big weekend for not only him, but Slipstream as well with Leslie coming back um, after yeah, missing round out. two. Shout out to my mate, Leslie Reeves. Uh, yeah, he did miss round two, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, he's back, and uh, both guys are now in different cars. That's well, right. still in a Formula RX-8, obviously. Yeah. But uh, you won't be able to miss them on stream or on KO because they're going to be in bright yellow uh, JDT built cars from the Lack Brothers, I believe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they've uh, handed over the keys to both Yvonne and Leslie for their cars. Uh, I think they're the number sixty-nine and number seven cars, I believe. Um. So, yeah, uh, let's uh, see what those cars can do. Um, yeah, you'd be, be able to easily see them on drag. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. And Bright what I'm actually excited about is that, because Leslie, of, of course, unfortunately missed round two because he's he was building his car. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't get it done at the time. But the, this time, he's got a car given to him. Yeah, um, which also gives him more time to focus on exactly. his actual building group. Build car, and it gives him a great opportunity to have the same equipment as Ivan as well. Yeah, um, true. Yeah, yeah to learn true. from throughout the weekend, because of course Ivan's currently, I think, fourth or something like that in the standings in term, or fifth, fifth. In the, fifth in the standings altogether at the moment. Um, but another person that uh, we got to keep an eye out for is uh, good old Stephen Devjack, uh, the pink haired demon. I used to I kept calling him last time out. Uh, he clean swept. Uh, Morgan Park, and uh, he's going to be definitely the one to beat for sure in Queensland. Uh, he's no easy feat, that's for sure, especially I uh, remember that reverse grid race that they had. Right. Um, he still won that one. Um, so uh, it's, it's incredible. He's such a fantastic up-and-comer. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for him, especially if you're looking at sponsoring him too. Um, he's definitely one to keep an eye on because the cameras were dead set on him the whole entire weekend last time out. Yeah. Um, so expect a lot of, uh, camera footage for him this time. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a different track compared to the last couple that have been on. Cause you can literally see the whole track from wherever you are mm. at uh, QR Queensland raceway, which I've never been to. So I'll be there with, um, Yvonne and Leslie doing whatever the heck they want me to do. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, I run around just like a, a chicken without a head, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll be on someone's microphone helping them out, but, um, yeah, it should be fun. Hope it's nice weather. And uh, claim racing for all the races. Unfortunately, they don't have much track time on the Saturday. It's actually quite, for them, a mm. little bit boring. It's a bit weird. Like, they've only got one session. That's a shame. So, one race on the Saturday, and that's it. But hey, don't discount them, though, because even if they have only a couple sessions, yeah, it's they're still cracking to watch. Yeah, well, on the Sunday, they've got three races. Mm, yeah, right. So, the Saturday, I don't know why the Saturday is a bit weird, but um, yeah. Well, in terms of, that's just Formula RX. Obviously, they've got the whole day. Of well, because it's it, it, obviously it's high tech or super series. So, yeah, yeah. Um, they just got to cater, they just got to do what high tech or super series tells yeah. them to. But, Lots uh, of categories. Like oh, seven yeah, of heaps, them. heaps of them. Um, it's going to be fantastic. Oh, epic weekend overall. It's going to be cool. Yeah. Um, but definitely keep your eye on the Formula RX 8 series. It's going to be a cracker. Um, especially keep out, keep an eye out for Jeff Connell. Yeah. Of course, he uh, did very well. In Morgan Park, uh, and uh, what I really liked is we had the onboard footage of him throughout the weekend, um, and I think that was his first ever weekend in the RX-8 series exactly. as well. Well, he's one of the rookies of the year. Mm. So uh, he did Same sensational. Yeah. There's a lot of up-and-comers, a lot of fantastic drivers, yep. and like we said, our, our very own Ivan. Um, yep. He did very, very well um, all year, actually, so far. 
Um, he will be looking to improve that. That's for sure. Maybe we might see another podium from him. Who knows? Um, excited to see what Leslie can do as well. Of course, he's it's been back. a while since he's you know raced because obviously he missed round two. So I'm excited to see what he can do there. Yep. Uh, he's a fantastic bloke as well. Keep an eye out for Ayrton as well. Um, yep. He did Ayrton really Jim well. Yep. Yeah, he did. Felipe, sorry. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wrong name. Ayrton Felipe, sorry. I thought he said Fittipaldi. I did. Yeah, there you Blacks go. And whoops. He's got two legendary names. There you he's go. Got a great name. <laughs> Must admit. Exactly. Yeah, you already you get you gain a hundred horsepower just from having the name Ayrton. Ayrton. There you go. Uh, and then we've got obviously got uh, Rob Bowden, Justin Lewis, Propane. who of course is the who runs the show yep and he did Robert really bl- he did a rather good job last time out as well especially in the horrible wet conditions oh, he's no he's no slouch no no not at all no definitely and he puts so much effort into it into this category it's fantastic to see and we we say it every time um this sport is going to become something big for sure um yeah. and we're only what round three and yet it's already epic yeah you know? it's great and they sound wicked like they the car, when you're there you gotta love a it, rotary <laughs> When they're running, uh, yeah, the rot- yeah, yeah. <laughs> rotaries are very cool, but like just the sound of them screaming, like when you know, you hear other categories say, Oh, they scream really loud down the straight. These cars are actually screaming, mm. and they don't really use much higher than fourth gear ever. Um, and I don't think they'll touch, touch fifth gear this weekend either, mm. but yeah, they'll and the fact that we can hear them from everywhere around this track yeah. because it, Queensland Raceway is quite small. Mm. Um, the lap times won't be long at all, um, which means hopefully some closer racing uh, around this short little track. But I'm just looking forward to being there and actually seeing the whole track. Yeah, well, the cool thing is there's no it's barrier really... in the way. No, covering it's it. just dirt. Yeah, exactly. It's so fantastic. I'm very much looking forward to that part, unlike Sydney Motorsport Park, where even from the roof, you couldn't see the whole, the whole track because there was hills in the yeah. way. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, this weekend is going to be really cool for the uh, TFH Higher Formula RX8 series. Going to be exciting for sure, and like like we said, you'll be joining uh, Ivan and Leslie this weekend, um, supporting Slipstream and Let's Talk Motorsport. You'll be representing yeah, I'll be both. On, I'll be on so, the uh, um, I'll be on the socials. Uh, probably do a live stream or two on TikTok on LTM Let's Talk Motorsport. Uh, try to do some on Slipstream Motorsport as well if I can. But um, yeah, I'm sure we'll be very very busy. <laughs> yeah, oh, mate, you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna forget who you are by the end of the weekend probably. i think sometimes <laughs> whoever helps out a racing driver is more busier than the racing driver it's quite ironic how that works that's really cool though isn't it it is nice it's really cool it. i think this week what didn't help last time when i was there in sydney is uh leslie and Ivan were nowhere near each other so <laughs> so like even unfortunately leslie wasn't using the same kind of uh team car as Ivan was so literally i was running down up and down <laughs> the pit lane I was like, steps can up. you guys qualify <laughs> near each other, please? Or somewhat be close to each mm. other? Yeah, I got my steps up for sure. <laughs> so at least this week, they're going to be in the same garage, yeah. which is nice. Less walking for me. Ah, oh, fantastic. And it's going to be epic. So if you t- tune in, well, first off, if you're going to Queensland, Go. do what Alex is doing. Head down to Queensland Raceway. Yep. Um, I think you can get tickets online and whatnot. Head to Queensland Raceway for the High Tech or Super Series. Mm-hmm. Um, if not, Tune in, SBS, Fox Sports, KO. It will be uh, broadcasted there. So if anyone is looking for sponsoring one of these cars, because uh, we've got a couple of cars that are looking for sponsorships, especially. And um, the next round being in SA. Exactly. We've got yep. uh, August 30th, I think, that weekend. Yeah, the end of the uh, so they, there's actually a pretty big gap. It is a big gap. I think Ivan said roughly two months. Yeah, which um, is good roughly. because a, a lot of the teams are from the East Coast. Mm. And B, gives us more time for sponsorships. Uh, nice break in the middle of the year as well. Exactly. Gives Leslie time gets, to build the car as well. Yeah. That we, we mentioned. Leslie's definitely happy about that. <laughs> um, but it 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 makes the end of the year a lot more like intense. Yeah, because they got a lot of back to back, not back to back weekends, but you know, every month. There's no more two month gap. No. Yeah. Great. Um. So that's going to be fantastic. I'm I'm very excited for that. Yeah, because you'll be uh, there. I'll be there. I'll Round definitely four. be Round there. Four. Um. So that's going to be really cool. But uh, no. Round three is first up, Queensland Raceway. Um, Be there if you can. If not, tune in. Glue your eyes onto Fox Sports KO. Of course, there's no supercars, so they've got prime time viewing. Not much Um, Exactly. So be sure to tune in this weekend for round three of the TFH Hire Super. What am I saying? TFH Hire 
Formula RX8 series, or I was about to say yep. Super Series. Um, uh, part it, of the series. It is indeed Super. And uh, on that note, that is the end of our show. So thanks everyone who has listened, whether you're listening on Radio Italiana or our show on Spotify. You can check it out on uh, Let's Talk Motorsport. Uh, just search it up anywhere you want, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Spotify, as I said, um, Facebook. I can't even remember what I've said. So head on down there. It's the yellow icon. We've got so many links. Can't miss it. Uh, exactly. And uh, thanks, Alex, for tuning in and joining us once again. Good to be back. And uh, hope to see you next week uh, for some insane motorsport chit chat because there's yeah. going to be a lot to talk Hopefully about. We can sure. bring back a trophy too. Fingers crossed. But uh, that's all from us. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.